I'm very tired. Do you know why I'm very tired? Tell them I was so tired, Jen. What did we get up to do this morning? We got up and watched Endgame at 8.25 at the cinema. Yes, because we're adults and going to see a superhero film first thing on a Sunday morning is exactly what you should do. It was amazing. But now it feels like it's bedtime and it's only about four o'clock in the afternoon. It's five It's about five o'clock in the afternoon. That's okay, I'm running on French time. So, what we're making today is a Sri Lankan curry, which is what we meant to be made in the first video, but I got my Sri Lankan and my Vietnamese mixed up. And they're very different and not the same thing. So, what I'm doing now is guessing a spice mix. And by guessing, you've got a recipe, I just don't know how, but I really should have used a spoon for that. Yeah, you should have used a spoon. Um, it's okay. We will recuperate onto a spoon. I can already sense the anticipation from Jen that it's going to be fine. That looks roughly like a mess of tea. Yeah, so we'll go with that. We'll use a spoon for the recipe. So, I've got my full coriander. I need now three cumins. When we're doing less of the mix, use a spoon. That's three cumins, two black peppercorns. That's no, no, baby. But you have to open up the back and then actually put the peppercorns out. I'm a grown up who knows things. I didn't even know that opened, I just assumed it came with peppercorns. <laughs> I now need one black mustard. We only have regular mustard. One bit of mustard. What? <laughs> I don't know how many mustards that is. 74. Uh, I now need three cloves. Ah, oh, my nemesis. Pull tie. Ah! Ah! There's a spoon just there. That's a clove. Yeah. Mmm, smells like alba gel. One clove. I know it doesn't literally mean the number of cloves that fall out, but also I don't know how many the scaled down version of three tablespoons of cloves is, and so I don't like clove that much. So we're going to have one less clove, just going to save that. Then I need one heaped fennel. Ooh. It's fine, baby, put it in. It's it okay. It smells like aniseed. I know, baby, but it's what it says. You can't just. I can and I will. <laughs> okay. Oh, I need a rice. How much rice was there? I need to put it in? Oh, two black peppercorns and two uncooked rice. I've never, I've never seen rice as a spice before. So, when it said two uncooked peppercorns, did it mean. Like two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of peppercorns. But that's only two peppercorns that you put I in there. I realised that now. Initially I was saying it like a joke, but I think I've said it too many times that I actually started to believe it. That's probably Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay, now, what do I do next? Uh, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Uh, cayenne pepper. I will measure this with a teaspoon. One teaspoon. No, that would melt your face. Uh, that's that's what it looked like that's being cleaned by my mother. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, I can be trusted to clean the spoons in this household. It's as if something has gunked up the spice. As if something like a water has got into here and caused it to clump. I wonder how that's happened. This is not going well. I'm also acutely aware that I've got an open wound that I do not particularly want Kay and Pepper getting into. Why don't you just take off the top and dip the spoon into it? Oh yeah. That would make the sense. I wasn't filming when you said what other stuff you had in there. Okay, so we have KM, six to seven curry leaves. We have one tablespoon of paprika, not smoked. Yes, that is not a tip. That is a tablespoon. That's not a knife. This is a knife. And I think that's that for the spice mix. Um, so that is the spices blended and grinded. What I'm now going to do is get my vegetables chopped. Unlike last time, I'm not going to play around with my knife because I did take a good chunk out of my thumb yesterday trying to see if I could break the land speed Lon London onion <laughs> chopping contest. That is the onions, garlic, and ginger all chopped. What we need to do now is stick that in a pan, get it browning, get it going, and then get my chicken, and then add some spices to that whilst the chicken's being chopped. This is the difficult bit for me. It's getting it from A to B without losing anything on the way. Because when Joan cooks, it's fine. Everything ends up in the pan and stays in the pan. When I cook, some of it stays in the pan. A lot of it doesn't even get there. My hands are clean, I'd just like to point that out at this moment in time. I'm not just molesting the vegetables. Ta-da! So, the base vegetables are steaming, steaming, frying and softening, so we're going to be adding all of the lovely spices that we've made together. Oh my god, that's so much spice! You're actually going to have to be able to taste this now. I think we mentioned it last time we made a cooking video. I like to add enough spice, but you can't taste it. Now, hang on, that's a, that's a garlic skin. That was a bad review. You're not invited to this party. Mm. That does actually smell really nice. You can't smell it, but trust me, it's great. Now, whilst that's still simmering, what we have next are the tomatoes and the chili peppers. They'll be chopped up, diced, chucked in there with a bit of salt, and then that's the next bit. But we also need to get the chicken. So I'm going to chop these, get the chicken out, stick it all together. So it verges in. All the uh, I guess precursors are ready. Just going to get the chicken, and then it's one of those sitting for 10 minutes, add this, add the blood of the lamb, some of another 20 minutes, go on a quest for three years, come back, another 15 minutes, uncover, leave to broil, and then ultimately get five minutes before serving and then forget that I needed to do the rice. Okay. Now, I'm going to abuse my ability to be filmed to have a, not, not so much of a rant, but a verbal blog, a, a video log, if you will. I'm sure there's a shortened term for that somewhat. Midlife crisis. Now, I was driving back to work the other day. And this guy races past me going the opposite way in a Mustang. I'm like, ooh, I like a Mustang. I wonder who's driving it. Big fat bloke. But he fits in the car. And the first thing that crosses my mind is, someone's having a midlife crisis. But then I think, why is that a bad thing? As long as I can remember, like say mum, dad, people who want to give you advice, it's always save money, be sensible, don't buy fancy things, just work hard, don't follow your dreams, just get a sensible office job, nine to five. 
until you retire. And then you're just supposed to be old. Children come to sing at you until you die. Like, what's the point? Why can't people just go, you know what? I'm financially secure enough now. I'm going to have a bit of fun. What is wrong with that? Why do we think, well, he's having a struggle. He'll sell that in 20 minutes. So what? If I'm mid-50s and I want to buy a car that I can't get in and out of without some assisted <laughs> help, I don't care. I want to have fun. Sod buying a fucking Dacia Sandero just because it's more financially secure and more fuel efficient. I don't want to just get to the end, die and think, well, I did that the most efficient way possible. <laughs> it's just, oh, I don't know. Yeah, that was my rant. Thanks for not really listening or sort of listening. <laughs> okay, now, so, that's out of the way. Chicken's cooking, my rant's out of the way. We're on to the simmering bit. What I've got to do is add a half a cup of coconut milk, a combination of water and body odour, sorry, an apple cider vinegar, and then let it simmer for a while. So the water goes in first of all, and that's... Yep, gonna make a nice gravy. And the next bit is the coconut milk. Oh dear. Now, it's just play by ear, really, it says on the recipe, to how much sauce you want. So if I had a half a can, and then we can add more if need be, as it simmers. So, we're almost finished. So, what we have now is a nice, thick, simmering tomato gravy. We tried it. It's spicy. It's really spicy. So we've added a little bit more coconut milk, but it's strange. It doesn't hit you on your tongue. It's the back of the throat. Now you've just been maced. Now you've mixed up your throat spray with your pepper spray, <laughs> if you've ever done that. So I'm going to check the rice. It's not quite done yet. Two minutes more. It's al dente. And once that's ready, we can pair the two together. Now, we have been inundated with requests by our viewers to taste these. So, I'm going to just get a little bit of rice and a little bit of flavour. Oh, yeah. And then I'm going to put it in my mouth. Mm. That's really good. That was really good. Now, very quickly before we go, why did I pick Schneider and Curry Gen? Because it was the curry that we had the day that um, you proposed to me. Yes, I was a nervous wreck. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're going to eat this and then at some point probably poop it out. 